Paint versus powder coat. What's the difference and which one should I do? That's what we're gonna be answering today. The first thing you need to understand is the fundamental difference between the two coatings. Paint is sprayed on in a liquid form via an aerosol can or a paint gun. High quality automotive grade paints are great for car exteriors, wheels, underhood components, suspension, you name it, you can probably paint it. The process for painting can be long and meticulous. There's a lot of prep involved and everything needs to be perfectly clean. Now on the flip side, powder coating, just like the name implies, is a powder. You spray it on your metal part and it is applied electrostatically with a powder coating gun. Once applied, the powder goes into an oven to bake on. The powder then transitions to a liquid state and then back to a solid state. Prep for powder usually isn't as stringent as paint, but ultimately both will give you excellent finishes. Now we can talk about the good and the bad things about powder coating. Powder coating is super durable and flexible, which makes it great for suspension components that constantly move around and get beat up pretty bad. Check out what happens to this tin foil that's been powder coated when you crumble it up into a ball. No flaking, cracking, or falling apart. Try doing that with paint. Never gonna happen. So anywhere where you need some durability, including undercar parts and wheels, check out powder. It's also great because of the ease of application. Contrary to popular belief, powder coating can be done at home and doesn't require a ton of equipment other than an oven, a powder application system, and somewhere to spray it. Check out the powder coating options using the link in the description. Powder only requires one coat for complete coverage, so your actual application process is much less than paint. Now, with that being said, you aren't limited with powder. As long as you have the right application system, you can do multiple coats for custom designs. My favorite part about powder is that you aren't fighting a bunch of nasty chemicals. Because of the process, you have no solvents and very little emissions. The only stink you'll smell is from the baking process, which is still far less than traditional paint. Lastly, if you mess up during the powder coating process, simply blow it off and start again. If you mess up during a paint job, it's a lot more than just grabbing an air gun. Now, we should mention that there are some downsides to powder coating. Number one is the thickness of the coating. You will not be able to get as thin as traditional paint. So any parts that have close tolerances will be better off being painted. Now, if you want to keep powder out of certain areas, you can check out our high temp silicone plugs or high temp tape. That'll keep the powder out of the areas you don't want it to go in. Another downside is the larger parts you need to do, the bigger equipment you need. For example, powder coating a wheel can be done with a standard household electric oven. Just don't use the one in your house, get a dedicated one in the garage. But if you want to powder coat a motorcycle frame, you're going to need an oven that's big enough to fit it. We do have a professional oven at Eastwood, so you can check that out using the link in the description. The other option is to use heat lamps, which do work, however, they require some extra time and attention. This is one of the many reasons that you don't see entire cars rolling around in a powder coated finish. Powder coating also has some limitations with materials. The piece you're working on needs to be able to withstand at least 400 degrees Fahrenheit because of the baking process. So if you need to coat some wood or plastic, you should stick with paint. Paint most certainly has its place in the automotive coating industry, but we really think more people would try powder coating if they knew about the benefits and how easy it could be to do at home. We have a ton of great videos on powder coating, and if you're interested, we'll be linking the complete guide to powder coating down in the description. There you can find out how exactly powder coating works, where it's best used, tips, tricks, as well as the complete application process. For more information about paint or powder coating, you can check it out at eastwood.com.